Hello, people, and welcome to the Organized Nonsense Podcast. Yay! I don't know what I'm doing. The first one of this, well, not quite wonderful year of 2016. And I think this episode we're talking about, all about 2016 and what it will hold for things that we enjoy. Yeah. Or think we will enjoy. We have hope to enjoy. Well, yeah, in some cases, hope is the only word. Yeah. We don't think we'll enjoy them, but we fucking hope we do. <laughs> yeah. Case in, point, March, case in point, March's big film release, Batman v versus Superman. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot that was a thing. I think it's actually going to be great, honestly. So, hmm. Well, I, yeah, I know there's like good sites, but yeah, I'll um, watch it. I'm genuinely excited for it. So, yeah. Oh. I, I assume you are not Kevin because um, no, most I am. Except people I talk to are not. For what? Batman vs Superman. Yeah, I'm tentatively excited for it. I'm Is certainly more excited right for word? it than I am for Deadpool. I'm definitely more excited for Deadpool, but um, like, you're excited in, for taking shit over watching Deadpool. I'm like, I'm like, I really want Batman vs Superman to be good, like, I, I, like I really want it to be good, but yeah. like I'm not sure if it. I think it would be good. good. Like at this point, I'm and not Deadpool. even like I'm not even calling it Batman vs Superman. It, it should be called Batman vs Superman vs Wonder Woman vs Dead Doomsday. Yeah, but they're only going to be in the last act, so... Yeah, that's, all, like that's good, the other thing. Like 80% I, of the film is going to be Bower Superman. Yeah, that's the other thing that I'm worried about. I can easily see it being like a case of Batman and Superman, and then like 30, half an hour from the end, Doomsday, the, someone's just like, Lex Luthor's like, oh, Doomsday's a thing. And they, and yeah, Doom, but and Doomsday's, Doomsday's a shit. Villain, so yeah, he is. He is his, a his, shit his, villain. The, the entire like, point of his existence is to either kill or be killed. That is his character. Yeah, he has no character. Yeah, so but um, like they don't need to no, develop some, Doomsday. He is just, Doomsday is muscle. That's it. No, but what I mean is like he's I'm, fucking, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of worried that they're the gonna wash henchman. Doomsday. Like, if that makes any sense. I don't feel that way because it's probably going to be about three hours long, based off previous yeah, scenes. So yeah, I, I could easily care. see it being like. Uh, yeah, Dark Knight Rises was three hours long. Uh, what, how long was Man of Steel? I think that was like. Because that, that would probably be the better indicator. Yeah, I think I think Man of like, Steel was like two hours. Age of Ultron was meant to be over yeah. three hours. And they they just dis- and then Kevin Feige. Uh, yeah, two and like, a half no, hours. No, 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 we can't do that. Man of Steel. Oh yeah, can I two and a half get hours. my opinion in? No. Two and a half for Man of Steel. Uh yeah, that's still pretty long. So <laughs> almost exactly two and a half. And what was Dark Knight Rises then? Um, no, two and a half. Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises was two two hours two and three quarters. Two forty five. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I could easily see it going up to three. Perfectly honest. Mm. I I could. I, I would I'm gonna predict. That at all I'm gonna predict because it's... my biggest pro. Because my biggest problem oh. with Age of Ultron was that it was a two and a half hour film that felt like it was missing half the film. Yeah, you said that. You said I'm, that. I'm feeling. I said that quite a lot of times because I... it was how I felt. I, I'm gonna predict that um, it's gonna be in. Yeah, it's going to be about two and a half to two and three quarters, maybe stretch. I think three hours is the can... highest they'll go. I don't think they'll go any higher than three. I can see maybe three ten. Three ten is the highest they go. Three ten. Yeah. I think. Th- I think it'll be I, I, two forty five. Th- there's to three. no way they're going higher than no three fifteen. Than three fifteen. It's, there's no way they're going higher than three and a quarter. Oh, like. There's no fucking way, but I think realistically, three ten is the highest they'll go. Yeah. Uh, but, mm. and on the other hand, I don't know what everyone saw in that fucking Suicide Squad trailer because I'm still not feeling it. I don't care about Suicide Squad. 
Because every that's single cause it's piece film, of Christian. Dialogue. Christian, if it's not a TV, the no, I, I mean, mean if I it's not a video game. Squad and any other medium as well. Right. Yeah, but, yeah, the Suicide Squad are awful in comics generally, and mm. yeah, the, the um, movie, was, the animated movie, was really good. Like I liked it. I I didn't particularly care for it, but what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't see what everyone saw in that trailer. It was every piece of Harley dialogue was. I think awful. I think Harley yeah, Quinn is Harley fucking Quinn. I think Harley Quinn, and she's the clearly the main character. Yeah, she's clearly so, the main character. The, all of the focus is. And be all her dialogue was horrendous. It's just, yeah, because don't you just want to yeah, film with Batman? Like what I'm by far the most looking forward to is Katana, and. and no, just Katana. Katana is what I'm looking forward to, and Katana is probably gonna have like ten minutes of screen time dedicated to her. Mm. So whatever. Mm. But yeah, I just I get the people that yeah they put Bohemian Rhapsody on the trail, and yeah, I like Bohemian Rhapsody too, but that doesn't make it good. Mm. Like it's how Guardians of the Galaxy is a decent movie, but because like there's it. music in it, people think. It's great. No, like it's a solid. Oh, wait, oh, you mean those licensed tracks? That it's a to... solid seven out of ten. Like seven, eight out. Of uh, 10, I give it. I know? give it eight. People yeah. seem to like put it. On, people seem. People seem to put it on this pedestal just because it uses the music well. And I think yeah. that, it, yeah, using music well is an important thing, but that it's not the most important thing. It doesn't fucking elevate your film. Like it makes a good scene great, but it makes a decent scene good. That's that's just it, mm. yeah. Um. On a similar, uh, yeah. On a similar note, I just I have no opinion about Civil War at this stage. I think it's it's gonna come out. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna be like, oh, cool, good, great. That was a Marvel movie, because <laughs> that's how I feel about them at this stage. It's just, oh, this again. Well, but, that's kind of my opinion to whenever you guys talk about movies in general. I just <laughs> go, oh, yeah, I don't give a <laughs> No, I do care about them, but I think it's Stockholm Syndrome at this point, because I just, I keep going, and I'm just like, oh, great, this again. I vaguely enjoyed that. I don't, know. I don't know anything about Civil War as it, like other medium besides the film. Well, the the comic is awful. Is it? The comic is terrible. The comic is War. <laughs> really? Civil, Civil War. Civil War. Oh yeah. Like, uh, okay, it's not terrible. It's always but, like, <laughs> not good. It basically makes Iron Man Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, the... They make him out to be like a prick or something. Oh, it's just total out of character asshole. Like, this is from before the movies, so he was normally more of an asshole than he is now. Because yeah. after the movies came out in the comics, they basically just made him Robert Downey Jr. But <laughs> Yeah, that's accurate. But, like, in the four, he was just, like, he was a guy who was a drunk asshole, which is, like, Robert Downey Jr. in the 90s. Um, and, yeah, it's... But then Civil War comes, and Civil War takes it to the fucking total extreme, and it just everyone's out of character. It's the, has the wonderful, wonderful dialogue of Mister Mark Millar, <laughs> and uh, it's it's not fun. And I I I do think the movie is going to be far far better than it. Yeah, like I I don't. So think at the... least there's that. Yeah. I, I'm not like Civil War is gonna be greatest Marvel movie ever. I'm like it'll be better than the comic, but it's not very hard to be better than the comic in this situation. Yeah. Um. So what's coming out th uh, this month, like February? Anything? February. Uh, um. Oh. The the super the, the the superhero movie of which we shall not speak because it'll take oh. up the rest of the podcast with me complaining about it. 
Oh, God. <laughs> um, Street Fighter. I'm excited about that. That's going to out. Terrifying. I'm going to play it. That's going to be fun. Mm. I, I've pl- I was playing it today, actually, because the final beta is currently on. And it's pretty fucking great. That's it's yeah, and it's 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 Street Fighter. So it was probably going to be fucking great, but it's a fucking great Street Fighter game. So that's very good. I feel like I'm carrying this podcast today, guys. I'm not well, I, much. I, the only well, Street I'm Fighter game up, I've I'm ever played. Looking is... up re- yeah, I'm looking up release calendars. Well, there's Gravity Rush Remastered, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Christian, you had a Vita. Did you ever play Gravity Rush? Uh, no, but I played the I demo. Did. I did. It was pretty great, and I can't wait to play it on, on an actual fucking controller. <laughs> yeah, if you swear controller, going to be great. Um, and that's also going to be quite cheap. That's going to be 30 euro, so that's going to be very nice. Yeah, I should have bought the pre-order for it. Uh, sure, it's only out next week, and there's no, like, pre-order bonuses, because fucking... Yeah, but I want it anyway, you know. Just Then just walk in and buy it. You don't have to pre-order everything, Christian. Um, Am I the only one who pre-orders, like, everything? Fun. What? I pre-order, like, all the games Why? that I get. I don't know, I just do. I, I only pre-order a game where I feel like I'm definitely getting this day one, no matter what. Yeah, like, I, yeah, that's, like I, 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 I buy all of my I games pl- day one, most of the time. Yeah, but... Why? But basically, like, well, like unless like it I, is a proven series that I know that I like, and I, and there is yeah. a reasonable proof that this will continue that, that trend. I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll see how it is. Because well, yeah, carry on, Christian. Sorry. I can't afford. Pre-order things anymore because my shelf is full. I need to get a new shelf. Great. You could just fucking put them in a stack. You could just stack them. I don't want to stack them on the floor. On the floor. Stack them on a table. I don't have any. I, I, you know what I have in my room? A shelf, yeah. a bed, and a, a, and a cupboard. It's literally all I have in my room. Get a box. Yeah, put that, them under the. He's not lying. Bed. I don't want to see them. <laughs> Put the ones you don't want to see in there. Well, uh, Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, I could get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, you probably have, do you have DMC4? Yeah, well, that's digital. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, DMC4, that's a weird I, game, because it probably I, has the best gameplay in the series, but it also has the but worst level design play. by far. <laughs> And it oh, also yeah. makes you go through this level design six times. What? No, no. It goes, it, you're, you're mistaking bravely the fault. <laughs> no, it does make you go through it six times because no. Nero, no, Dante, play... Lady, Trish, Virgil. You oh, have yeah, to go you're... through it twice as Virgil, right? Playing. Well, that depends if you're play, playing and playing the other characters. You don't have to. Well, if you want to just... play everything. If you want well, all the characters. How does Bloody Palace work in DMC4? Do you have to unlock everything? Uh, I can't remember whether or not you need to beat it with one character or beat it with all of them. Because like, that's, that's, that's the main thing that's stopping me from buying it. Uh, most, I, think, I mostly right, you know what? want I, it for I, Bloody Palace. And I, I don't want to have to beat the game six times to get all the characters in Bloody Palace. I can check it right now if you want. I'm on my PS4, so... Yeah, whatever. Don't make too much noise, I guess. Um... Bravely Default right. is out. Right. Probably... Bravely Default. I do have too many the... games. Oh, sorry, Bravely Second and uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah. The, oh, you the... the wheel here. Bravely Second and the what's it called? The Pokemon Virtual Console games are out. Oh, yeah. Pokemon doesn't How much is that? They... I think they're they gonna... came out 20 years ago, that's the point. I think um... they're going to. There'll probably be like a. Something that doesn't. Out. Something that doesn't have a release date that is also related to this, and I'm very interested in one particular aspect, is uh, the great detective Pikachu. And oh yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. It looks sort of yeah, Dumb. great detective Pikachu, whatever. It, it but there is a 
Uh, you talk about this while I find the thing that I'm looking for right now. Like, I haven't even like, uh, see, really? seen a whole lot of Detective Pikachu. All I know is that, like, um, there's going to be weird. Pikachu in it. Um, yeah. Top Pikachu. Weird. Uh, yep. Uh, just give me a uh, second. Yeah, check out the thing. Uh, and, you need to be uh, the game. Do you, uh, uh, it gives you all like, the characters. Oh, and yes. someone Good. apparently you just need has... to be the game one. Someone apparently has put Danny DeVito's voice over Detective Pikachu. Exactly. No, God damn it, Kevin. That was my fucking... No, that's not the point. No. That's not the okay. point. That's not the point. Okay. The point is... Not that it someone... Suits that some guy well. made a Danny DeVito trailer. It's that there is a petition that started before this video went up to get Danny DeVito to voice the English version of Detective Pikachu. <laughs> And, One thousand, um, that, nineteen oh, thousand. That video was a result, and currently there are thirty-three thousand eight hundred and four support uh, people who have signed this petition. Yeah, including me. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I'm signing it now. <laughs> yeah, uh, and sorry. yeah, thirty thousand. I will buy it if Danny DeVito voices speak to you. And. You, and I'm pretty sure that game will rack up in sales. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Purely because <laughs> the wonderful, wonderful Danny. idea of Danny DeVito as Pikachu is an inspired idea. True. A normal person's voice. No, you gotta have... Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, yeah what's happening? You can agree. <laughs> that was very nondescript. What's happening? What happened? Um, <laughs> like, what's I up, Ben? Thing oh, I can voice. Okay. Something. So what we're talking about is. Detective oh Pikachu. yeah. We're talking about how the way Detective Pikachu's mouth moves, it doesn't really seem suitable for like your standard voice actor, and yeah. you gotta have Devita for that. Can you agree with me on this? <laughs> yeah. How his mouth moves. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty there's fucking actually, weird. There's actually there's actually a um, Edit it in. Yeah, Edit in a clip I, of his mouth moving. It's um, terrifying. Yeah, there's um, actually um a, a leaked picture of what seems to be from Detective Pikachu that came out years ago. I'll yeah. send it here. Oh, can we also talk about how Pokken is going to be at Evo, which is a travesty. Yeah. yeah. Because Pokémon is so fucking boring to watch. Yeah, I, it, like, like it, it's not interesting to watch. It's so boring to watch. And fucking... It's like watching okay, I, I understand why Ultra Street Fighter 4 isn't in. It isn't at Evo. But like, you couldn't think of anything better than Pokémon. I understand that Nintendo probably had a big hand in that. Uh, at least we're not having Pokken in place of Melee. But oh, like hell, been... Melee wouldn't be there. That would have pissed off everyone. Except the Smash 4 fans. They'd be like, oh. And <laughs> I remember there was um, there was this big event. I think it was either Apex or Zenith. No, Apex, I think. Oh, yeah, Apex, which is this big Smash event, um, and they decided uh, they they got Nintendo sponsorship and they dropped Project M as an event. And then when the actual event started happening, apparently there was a structural fault hotel, and they had to move it all. <laughs> and I, I just didn't, and and I remember that day I posted on the Project M subreddit. That fucking picture of the, of the smiling child in front of the burning building. <laughs> and, and I was at the top of, pro, of, of Project M for quite some time. <laughs> it, was a, it was a weird experience that whole time. I remember there was one place that was streaming the game. I think it was streaming LA. And I remember they had to abandon the setup. And it was literally just a stream of two empty chairs and like a bunch of setups in the background with the the melee character select screen just for hours because they had left it running 
and they couldn't go back in to turn it off. <laughs> Unfortunately, the building did not collapse on stream. That would have, that would have been pretty fun. It would have been great. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would have been fucking hilarious. And, yeah. It's, the Smash community, it's, it's had some weird turns as time has gone on. You know? Like, there was that time when Brawl replaced Melee for a while back in, <laughs> like, 2008, 2009. People were and then Melee came back. But then Melee came back when Mewtwo King won every single Brawl tournament with Meta Knight. Like... Oh, yeah, because... <laughs> Wait, wasn't, it, Me wasn't Meta Knight banned? In some places, yes. In, in, in Brawl, there were, like, if you're not playing Meta Knight Ice Climbers or, like, a high A tier, you're fucked. You have no chance at all. Like, it's pretty much like you can only play Meta Knight, Falco, Ice Climbers, and there are a few good snake mains. That's about it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And it's just... Oof. I'm going to look at the Brawl tier list a second and see if there's anyone well, I'm leaving it. God. Um... You know, I'm surprised we've gone this round. We haven't mentioned the Ratchet and Clank reboot. Yeah, because that's happening, and that's going to be fun. And, but oh, yeah. I, d I don't think I can see the movie because Civil War is out the same day as it, and I'm probably going to see that. But I might see Ratchet and Clank later. I don't know. Who knows? These things, they're weird. Pretty. Okay, I'm looking at the role I mean, here. realistically speaking... Uh, that series should have died years ago. <laughs> what, Ratchet? Yeah, because, Jesus Christ, like, I, I, I was... They were running out of ideas. <laughs> well, there hasn't been a great one. It, well, that's why they're rebooting it. That's, yeah, that, that's, and, that's what happens when you run out of ideas, you reboot. No doubt, the first game, because I told you, like, if you saw my Twitter, I said that I tried to play the original Ratchet & Clank, I spent yeah. two hours, I yawned, and I just said, all right, you know what? No. Okay, the, the only viable characters pretty much in Brawl are... Ice Climbers. Um, ice, ice, ice Climbers, Meta Knight. Uh, like, you have Meta Knight, you have Ice Climbers. And then, like, you can make... If you're really good, you can play Olimar, yeah. Diddy, yeah. Marth, Snake, and Falcon. Falcon. Yeah, that's about it. And then, yeah, that's it. I thought the entire tier list would just be Meta Knight all through the whole thing. <laughs> And at the bottom, there is no is Link, for... which is weird. No, like oh, yeah, of course. Last. There's no. Where's Sonic? It's we're, we must be looking at different ones. Um, I'm looking at a Smash Bros. wiki. So am I. Oh, yeah, yeah. So am I. Yeah, Ganon's last. Is, but I was a pretty. Uh, but I was a pretty good Ganon in Brawl, <laughs> and I'm a better Ganon in Smash Four. No, so, you don't. What? No, you don't. What do you mean, no, you don't? I said, I'm yeah. a better Ganon in Smash 4, and you go, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, I missed her. Sorry. <laughs> really? How did you miss hear that? I, miss, I just heard you saying the word Smash 4 and Ganondorf. <laughs> so I just sort of... Reacted. I'm right now. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII just as like everyone's talking, so <laughs> I kind of not really. Oh, and speaking of RPG, and uh, yeah, that's made me think of RPGs that aren't basic as shit. And Persona 5 is <laughs> coming out this year. You know what my Final Fantasy VII review will be? What? <laughs> it will be just me saying that this game is not overrated. It is, though. It's not. It really is. It has aged horribly. You haven't played it. Yeah, but it's aged horribly. Yeah, it has. Well, of course it has. It well, was like, general, it started off with like, like, six of four form. games. And nine has aged fine. Well, as a of course nine has aged form, fine. Nine was like released in 2000. The way I said, so, um... Yeah, what else released in 2000? Pokemon Snap. Ooh. That was the first <laughs> game I could think of. As a general Pokemon rule of thumb, like, well. 
As a general rule of thumb, most but that's probably because it was an it. FPS on the. Oh my N64. god, really? Shut up. <laughs> what? You. Oh, fuck's sake, really. I'm sorry. I'm so used to you not talking this episode. <laughs> no, no, you. Just ne Carry on. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're always talking. You yeah. never shut up. <laughs> well, this episode, I don't think I really have any choice because neither of you are talking. <laughs> But yeah, give give me a break. Talk. I, I was about to say, as a general rule of thumb, a lot of stuff on the PS1 or N64 hasn't exactly aged well. Except yeah, MGS1. No. Except, mm. except Final Fantasy IX. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, so yeah. most stuff that, that game. So. Have you seen the HD remaster trailer? That looks like that they were fucking HD models from scratch. Well, it's not really a HD remaster, it's just... Here it is on the game. Look at the mouse to actually yeah. looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite excited for that, to be perfectly honest. I might even play it on the phone. I don't know. You, uh, you ever play Nine? Well, not properly, but. Uh, I get so, to it now. Yeah. Like the first month I played Nine for the first time, I beat it four times. Why? Is that, Why? Is that good? Uh, that, that's, that's like me with Persona 4. Except Persona 4 is way longer, so I only did it one, one and a half times. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even get the proper ending. Oh, yeah, I heard the game like tricks you over the, the best ending like 10 t times. Yeah, like, no. When it's making you choose the ending, this is like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? And if you choose any one of really them, and if you choose any single one of them wrong, it's just like, okay, here you go. He leaves, and that's it. No, we don't. <laughs> and, and then they all, they all got ported to PS3. <laughs> Except Lost Odyssey, which meant I had to buy Lost Odyssey on 360, and I have a copy of Lost Odyssey, Odyssey sitting here because I can't be bothered to sit in my brother's room and use the 360. Um, Woe is me. <laughs> after after uh, Final Fantasy, we have Kingdom Hearts. Uh... Uh, <laughs> that's not coming out this year. Two point eight. Two point eight. Oh, yeah, that makes oh, sense. Yeah, jeez, yeah. completely forgot about it. Yeah, and, and... Well, probably not to play it because I already have three D Dream Drop Distance, and I don't care what they do with Aqua because really, they already fucked that shit up a long time ago. Yeah, but don't you want to play Dream Drop Distance in HD? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm because <laughs> touch and, and it, it totally ruins the title as well. Title. It completely fucks with the title because that's the point it's, of the title. Cause it's three D. Three D. It should it should be now just like King King Parts High Dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. And like that was just that that was just that time where in the Kingdom Hearts dev room they were just like, man, this movie Inception is real good. Let's stick it on repeat. <laughs> 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 yeah, completely right. That game was just exception for the entire yeah, exposition at the game. Like, I like to imagine the start of every Kingdom Hearts dev is just like, like everyone takes a bunch of drugs, watches a movie on their feet, <laughs> and takes down their thoughts, and that's the design document. And then after uh, Kingdom Hearts, we have World of Final Fantasy, which I completely forgot about wait when is that coming out what isn't that just uh it's, uh, it's for ps it's the chibi <laughs> thing now that's the chibi thing is it? remember that that, they, yeah. that is literally just remembered as the thing they showed before the ff7 remake <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right yeah, yeah it did come before the ff7 yeah remake. they're like we have an exciting new square enix game and then it was just fucking spiky hair man with no music Fucking running, just yeah, but it's uh, yeah, but then you had the um, Final Fantasy VII remake trailer, which was just <laughs> yeah, those, those yeah, great Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest Eleven. Uh, no, I don't. Um, I remember I stayed up that night, and I I like through the whole thing. I wasn't even like that exciting, excited for the big surprises. I was like, whoa, shit, they're actually doing that. Well, that's what everyone was thinking. <laughs> like with with Shenmue, I was like, no, they're not actually making Shenmue fucking three, are they? That's a that's, that's a joke, right? They're technically 
kickstarting it. <laughs> well, yeah, but it, well, it's it's being made now. Sort of, maybe. Yeah. By the way, is Mighty Number no. Nine still a thing anymore? Probably. Uh, it got not. delayed again. Yeah, what? Delayed again. It got delayed again. Can we just say it's like a game that will continuously? It's like Schrodinger's cat. What's the uh, release date? Christian, for do you game? understand Schrodinger's cat? Yeah, I don't think you do. Well, actually, I just believe if you walk into Kid Unicorn's office, you'll find out whether or not he's wasting the money on drugs. But no. oh, what a wonderful scammer that man. Uh, this point, like, yeah, that's exactly what the Kickstarter has become, a fucking massive scam. And did you hear about, uh, what, what was that game, Psychonauts 2? Yeah. That's also a scam, because I'm pretty sure he raised the Kickstarter amount sometime during the... Uh, what? I think he raised the prerequisites, like the amount of money that the uh, prerequisite... The, mm. the, the Isn't that money just stretch goals? That's just stretch goals. Um, no, I, th I think he raised the amount of money the game needed itself to get started. Okay. Still, like, yeah, but the thing is, with Psychonauts 2, um, Psychonauts 2 isn't going to be a scam, though, because, like, Sky Psychonauts 2 <laughs> isn't a scam. It's just that Double Fine are terrible at managing money. Because <laughs> you saw this with... Double, <laughs> Double, 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 way without even using it. Double Fine made the first big Kickstarter game, and that was Broken Age. And, like, I remember... <laughs> Like, halfway through development, they're like, uh, guys, we ran out of money. <laughs> and, then, uh -oh. and, then, and then, like, two weeks later, it was like, uh, Broken Age is going to be starring Elijah Wood. And it's like, hmm. Something is... <laughs> like... Not quite right about Yeah, they're just like, we've run out of money. And it's like, Broken Age voice cast includes Elijah Wood and Jack Black. And I'm just hmm. <laughs> That's very suspicious. <laughs> and, yeah, they ran out of money like a bunch of times during that development. And then the game wasn't that good. So. They didn't even know what they were making. Yeah, when they announced it, they were just like, oh, we're going to make an adventure oh, game, guys. It's going to be a game about... It's going to be a game, and it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be like those old adventure games we used to make. And, Cool. And then it turned out to be Broken Edge. I backed that. I don't know I, why I backed that. Of course you did. Of course you did. I ended up not even using the the, the um, code I got for it, and I ended up just getting the game on PS Plus. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to wonder. How you much know, did that you little... back it? How much did you 15 euro. Jesus. Which was enough for a copy of the game. Oh yeah, uh, I, 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 I was this close to backing Mighty Number no. 9. So very close. So close. With the hand and of God. Then, <laughs> and, and, then, and then by the time ukulele rolled around, I was just like, okay, you know, this has already passed its goals. I'm just going to leave that there, you know? Yeah, yeah it's already completely <laughs> overfunded. <laughs> yeah, and I'm very happy about that. because, And they've also got a publisher now, and it's a good publisher. So... Oh well, yeah, uh, I, that reminds me. I think Ukulele is going to be the best of the big Kickstarter games so far. I'm wondering. Um, that reminds me, Kickstarting. Uh, that thing about Hideo Kojima working with Sony for something. Yeah. You think, oh, you think anything about that's going to be revealed this year? Um, maybe a PlayStation yeah. experience. Or maybe a. No earlier, I think. There, there'll be a teaser at PSX. I don't think you'll see anything at E3. Project Shrek. What? Well, get the, the oh, Project joke. Ogre. I'll, I'll get the joke. <laughs> I don't want to hear fucking anything about ogres from Kojima again. <laughs> I should know. All those theories were kind of true in the end, just not well, the way we thought. Because it was called Project Ogre because of the um, Japanese folklore tale of the Red Oni and the Blue Oni, where the people were confusing the Red Oni and the Blue Oni, and one of them was doing terrible things, and the other had to try clear its name. So they were right. I don't know if that's not the exact story, but I remember. <laughs> People were like, oh, Big Boss is the red <laughs> on me, and, and, and Skullface is the blue one. 
I was like, oh yeah, de de Cause, definitely. Cause, uh, yeah. I was going through Kickstarter uh, just to see if there was any interesting yeah. games, uh, and I went. No, there isn't. And I went on to comics <laughs> to see to see what would be on there too, and I scrolled down. There's nothing interesting there. And the is it a sex comic? There, was vanilla is it a sex essence, comic? A heartwarming erotic manga and yep. <laughs> It's a sex company. <laughs> and it's a hundred and thirty nine percent funded with uh, oh, of course. Tw with twenty nine <laughs> days to go. <laughs> that's that's the best part. No, but like Star is okay when like someone's like, Oh, I have this book of shit I've already done. Let's release it. Like like when they did the Ball in the Family books. I never got those books. I should have got what? those books. The Brawl in the Family books. Did you never read Brawl in the Family? Oh, Brawl in the Family. Oh, yeah. I didn't... I read all of Brawl in the Family, but I didn't get the books. Yeah. No, the books are just the webcomics, but as books. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And... Yeah. Like, that's a, that, that makes sense. And I think Cucumber Quest as well, that did something similar. That had... A, Kickstarter, where it's like, hey. Whereas you would never fund that. <laughs> no, I would never fund Cucumber Quest because it has taken something I, oh. I, deep I deeply love from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking GG, I swear to God. <laughs> would you just make a Kickstarter about GG. Goddamn. <laughs> no, they, they tried to fund. Yeah, I remember the people who made the dubs of all the no. I'm Daisy comics, they tried to fund a like an imitation comic for. MGS4, and then uh, GG just rolled up and was just like, no. Don't do that. <laughs> no. GG, if you're listening, you're a snob. Cucumber Quest is okay, I guess. But like... Not really, I don't You're like a snob. It. I don't like it, that's my opinion of it, so... I liked that other thing more. That you were worried that you were only going to be known for. And as a result, I now only know you for it. So fuck you, GG. <laughs> uh, I think that's a good quest is sweet. that comic, is it? That with, the, comic. with the bunnies. It's about yeah. bunnies, right? Bunnies. Yeah. I don't know. What's yeah, with the fucking bunny girls this episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually read a whole lot of webcomics. <laughs> I have not read a whole lot of webcomics since Brawl the Family ended. I miss I, that damn comic. Um, I read... It's a fun song. The only ones I really read are Owl Terror, Oh, Zombies are okay. And I read uh, Cyanide and Happiness sometimes. Uh, Awkward Zombies are okay. The, the, the Smash ones uh, and the Metal Gear ones are right. And everything else is just, yeah, whatever. Well, you know what? That, that immediately reminded me. So you said that uh, Titan Daisy was afraid of, you know, the. the uh, shit only being known for that. Yeah, that's the exact thing that happened to Hideo Kojima. <laughs> well, yeah, but. What, have you ever... That's because everything else he made is just sort of eh. Because like Zoe wasn't actually his. Well, I mean, like have you ever... he only had a producer credit on Zoe. Um, have you Boktai... ever... least not. Boktai was just his base basic idea. Everything else was other people. Like the idea for Boktai was his, but everything else was other people. Uh, Snatcher and Police Knots are too long ago to count. I know him for Snatcher and Police Knots. They're good games. You ever played them? I played some of Snatcher, and I know that police both have weird light gun sections, and police knots are stupidly hard. Snatchers are okay. Light gun so, sections? Yeah, it's weird. Um, oh, and also Penguin Adventure. <laughs> oh yes, my favorite. Idea. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> greatest Hideo Kojima games. Penguin Adventure uh, goes. Number three is, of course, Castlevania Lords of the Shadow. Then number two... He didn't have anything to do with that. I'm aware. Castlevania Lords of the Shadow, Zone of the Enders 1, and then Penguin Adventure. Number yes. one. My favorite. My favorite. Why was it that it, that made instead of Metal Gear Solid? And then at number six is fucking... Metal Gear Acid. Oh god. I couldn't even play 10 minutes of Acid. <laughs> Metal Gear Acid Mobile. And you know what's funny? You know, um, you guys probably haven't heard of him. Some call me Johnny. Oh, I, yeah. I of have course heard we've heard of him, Christine. Because we go on about him all the time. 
Um, but basically, he put up a straw poll of whether or not to include Metal Gear Acid in the, in the mar- review marathons of Metal Gear he's doing. Yeah. Uh, Acid's gonna win because there's like five toes into one toast and then that goddamn straw poll. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, have you ever read the plot for the second Acid game? Uh, Snake Dice. Yeah, Snake Dice. They make a clone of the clone. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that kind of redundant? <laughs> they, they make a clone of Solid Snake, who was himself a clone. A clone. Naked Snake. And this clone is just called Snake. He's not anything, he's just Snake. We're not even gonna fucking call him a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they send him into a. Plan- I don't think it's revealed that he's a clone until, like, <laughs> way into the game or something. And it's this big reveal. Well, even though it really isn't, because it's. Well, like, it doesn't uh, fucking matter. But, like. Uh, he must have been like solid as times a thousand because, like, it takes place like three years after the first acid, and like ha- and the clone Solid Snake and Liquid, a- Solid and Liquid age yeah. normally, yeah. Well, and even Solidus was like it took him a while to get to there. But, like he was, he was forty. He was nearly forty by the time of yeah, Jesus. Um, like how Sim, old did have to be? But he looked sixty. Probably right, mm. with with the accelerated aging. Yeah, and yeah. also John Sagan. Yeah, and then of course, when when Snake was forty, he looked much older, like much older. Like uh, forty. Yeah, he, was, yeah, he, he, he was he was forty in MGS four, right? Uh, I think it was like, yeah, he must have been. Well, yeah, cause, uh, it was because LET happened like a year before Peace Walker. I'm trying to remember how old he was in Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, that was like, what, 20, 30? I can't remember. I'm going to check when L.E.T. happened. Um, early 1970. So yeah, he would have been 40. I think it's 70, 71. So he would, yeah, he would have been like 43. Which is about Big Boss's age in Grand Zero. Okay, so wait, in the actual timeline, Metal Gear Sol- Metal Gear One happened in nineteen seventy. No, I mean, oh, I mean when he was born. He was born, he was in, born in nineteen seventy one. Yeah, because of the Peace Walker thing, and then yeah. Even though that's like that's like three two three years before Peace Walker, so that's kind of weird. Kevin's left. Kevin's no, gone. No, I'm, no, I'm here. I Kevin's just long gone. No, I'm here. I'm here. I just like it's like Jesus Christ, Metal Gear again. I thought we would. I thought we could be done for once. Nice Metal Gear. Oh, uh, just you wait until fucking whatever Kojima's working on. Oh, well, that's not going to be out until like 2020. Yeah, I really can't wait for Metal Gear or something else. You mean fucking? Zone of the Finishers. <laughs> Air, area of the Finishers. And <laughs> um, fucking... I, I can't even think of a rip-off name for Boktai. Rather. And, um, Va- vampire Men. Not... <laughs> a vampire RPG. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, the new Hideo Kojima Kickstarter. A vampire RPG. I can't uh, wait till he actually... Yeah. What do you think it's gonna be? What? Um, I think Kojima. it's going to be... <laughs> it's not going to be. It's not going to be metal. I think it's going to be TDR. <laughs> like, what could it be? What do you think's kicking around in his mind? Do you think he'll be like MGS Five at all? Mm, no. Uh, no. No. I think, I think, no, I think so. I think Kojima's done with stealth action for a while. No, I don't mean stealth action. I just mean like the same overall design of MGS Five oh, and yeah, how it used its world and all that. But it wasn't Possibly. a huge open world, considering all the fucking, like, big hills you couldn't get across. Slide down. No, like, I mean, like, you know how, in MGS5, it's like, oh, there's this big open world, but there's also, mount, like, fucking mountains everywhere you can't get up. Yeah, you have to, like, take the roads around. Yeah, so it's not actually as big as it looks at all. Well, except in Africa, because I think that place has a lot less mountains. Yeah, but it's all, but that's just fucking fields in that case. Well, there's fields and there's mines. Just big fields. fucking... A mine? I guess there's like one mine. 
There's one big mine. And oh, that's yeah, it. The place where you rescue the fucking children. <laughs> and that, yeah, that was a big area, in fairness, you know? That was probably... That was I bigger think there than... was the place that you blew up. Would the... you say that was bigger than Camp Omega? I'd say, you know that place that you have to go into when you first head to Africa to blow up with C4? Yeah. That was, that was like... probably bigger than Camp Omega. What? That was about the same size as Camp Omega. I'd yeah, say. that's like fucking in one area of a massive map. Yeah. Camp Omega is still probably my favorite location in MGS5. just five. Probably just use your binoculars. From, probably just from Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yeah, you've been playing it for like like I, eighty I, hours. I played thirty hours of Ground Zeroes, which is like you've way too much. 20, like you've a twenty-minute game. By it's twenty minutes when you know it, Kevin. You know what I mean, though. It's like it's an hour a lot. It's an hour game. Two hours if you like, drag the ass the, out of it. People are like, "Oh, Grand Zeros, It's only two hours long." And so, by that reckoning, I I had a fifteen to one, uh, con play time to content ratio with Grand Zeros, which is pretty terrifying. <laughs> Meanwhile, I played seventy hours of Phantom Pain, and oh, people yeah. are like, "It's a hundred hours." Yeah, I I be I be I played three hundred hours of that game. Yeah, that's because you liked FOBs. Yeah. What? I didn't like FOBs. No, I didn't. No, I I mean like I played like missions and redid stuff, did the extra mission tasks. I, I can't be fucked with that. The mission tasks. I can. So... You, know, you can like if you already got the S rank, you can bring your really broken equipment like the. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But. Yeah, Wait, maybe... you're talking about Grand Zeroes. No, I'm talking about uh, the fan paint. Yeah, but you can bring your really broken equipment anyway. Oh, you mean oh, you mean for? Yeah, but a lot of the mission tasks are weird, specific things like the fucking ones where it's like, oh, listen to this guard's conversation. Oh, I I didn't even bother with the conversation. And it's really yeah. arbitrary, just total bullshit. Like if, yeah, not even like, like worse, even, worse, even, worse, worse than worse, Assassin's worse, Creed. Like it or not, <laughs> worse than Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, because in Assassin's Creed, all you needed to do was sit down and press the triangle button. I really hate those missions in Assassin's Creed. I'm so happy they got rid of them. Should I love how easy to sit down we press triangle. They're still in Black Flag though, and that was the best recent one. So, well, you haven't even played like Unity or Syndicate. So I have played Unity. I I, I hear Syndicate's pretty great. That's just people who didn't play. Un that's just people who didn't give Unity enough of a chance. Unity is actually pretty good. Besides, but... uh, you know, what? What? Well, what's the one thing people complain about with Unity? The bugs. Monster faces. And I played it fucking three months later. So. Monster faces, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I played it three months after it came out. So none of that was there. Yeah, I and know. It's pretty good. It's just pretty good because you know it's a Ubisoft game. You shouldn't expect anything more than pretty good with them. But the only Ubisoft game I haven't heard anyone call anything greater than pretty good in years, like since Black Flag, is um, Rainbow Six. And I'm not going to get Rainbow Six because I'll be fucking shit at it. And like in that game, teams act, you you have to actually play a role on the team. So I'll just be fucking shouted at over the mic. All the time for being awful. <laughs> oh god, you like know that. that like that, that time I tried to play League of Legends and the camera wouldn't even work, so I just remember, sat. sat remember, sp remember this stuff. I, I I tried to play League of Legends once and the camera wouldn't work, so I was stuck in the spawn the whole match, and I just had people shouting at me in Russian, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. My PC couldn't run it properly, <laughs> so the camera wasn't working. And I just had people being like, Koa, you stupid... Like, uh, I don't know what those mean. So apologies to any Polish or Russian... Uh, no, Koa means fuck, right? I don't know. It's Polish. <laughs> but I don't know any Russian, apart from maybe Nyet and Comrade. Which is, uh, also apologies to our, uh, our one Ru Russian viewer. So, uh, also t terribly sorry if you're gay. That that must be pretty bad. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you are, but you might be. So bad luck. Yeah, um, really. You should probably move. 
Three. That reminds yeah. me, like that time in uh, um, no, MGS One where Snake was talking about uh, to a dying wolf. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Speaking of, nah. Yeah. So, should we, we should like start wrap up? Start wrapping up. Probably. What was that message? Okay, so, what you sent to me? I didn't send you anything. So. Oh, you thank sent you. the Detective Pikachu gif. Yeah. Oh wait, they mocapped it. Wait yeah. what? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> this is wait, a I need to. I need to see this. I sent this to you. Oh god, I, I did. To... I know, but I didn't see. I only I got the... 40... my phone just rumbled down and just I what? This Forty-five minutes ago. <laughs> Wait, that... I know you did. <laughs> that's motion capture. Yeah, that's motion. motion... Yeah, this is. That's motion... fantastic. That came at... that that leaked years ago, and like no oh, one. Oh, that's amazing. And no one knew what it was about, and now it looked like no. it was Detective Pikachu. So. I can imagine the fucking confusion. This why are they mocapping Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> I I can also imagine the confusion now because I'm currently feeling it watching that Detective Pikachu trailer. I still haven't watched the trailer. <laughs> oh, do it now. Can we have Christian's live reactions to the can we end on Christian's live reactions to the Detective Pikachu trailer? Yes. Please, Kevin. Okay. Christian, get to it. Alright. Uh do I need the volume or you don't need the volume, because it's all in Japanese. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Come to think of it, Pikachu sounds pretty ridiculous in Japanese, so it's not that much of a stretch to DeVito. Because, like, he, he has a really deep voice. <laughs> if memory serves. I don't know. I only watched the trailer once, and I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> but I remember being like, ah! Yeah. I, right. I, I, I couldn't be bothered mispronouncing Japanese words. So I just thought, make a noise in the yeah, vague is, uh, this... tone. So Christian, right, how, yeah. how's it going? <laughs> I immediately see the um, David Vito one. Just watch the real one. Yeah, that's the... Oh, you mean uh, the uh, Japanese one? All right. Yeah, with the Japanese shouting man, <laughs> my fucking mocapping right, Pikachu. Right. And it's it's a very right, interesting. It's yeah, it's a very, oh, it's a very strange and interesting right. trailer. Um, it's in, it's it, it's just it, it's in what, Pokemon, it, on London, and then what? Um, this is live action. <laughs> well, what? the trailer is. Yeah, just keep watching this. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> has he has he said anything yet? He's yeah, he's speaking. Yeah, he's running. And now he's lying down, and now he's getting kissed by a girl, and now he's... Yeah, that was a weird, that was a really weird part. That was, yeah. that was some Sonic 06 stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is what... <laughs> now he's moving his oh, Jesus! I mean the part where he gets kissed. No, what the fuck is... <laughs> it's terrifying. Oh, Kevin, I, Kevin, you have to edit it in again here. This, this oh, is definitely motion oh, capture. I mean, Jesus Christ, this looks. This yes, it's, like, it's horrifying. This is kind of like Seaman for the Dreamcast. Oh yeah, no Leonard Nimoy though, unfortunately. <laughs> what a shame. Now it's Pikachu talking to another Pikachu, which is actually kind of a revelation in itself. <laughs> so I assume. Wait, I don't remember that part. So does this mean is this is just in a universe where Pokemon talk? Because I, I assumed it was like the mystery dungeon plot where or maybe guy has turned into Pikachu and is like, oh shit, I don't want to be a Pikachu. Yeah, and then at the end of the <laughs> game he does. And he's like, I want to be a Pikachu. And then he becomes human again. And, and then everyone cries because it'll be very tastefully done and actually quite sad and not the way I described that at all. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just a guy and he's like a Pikachu he's like I don't want to be a Pikachu and he magically just turns into a... <laughs> but that's how the first mystery that's like the best way to explain the first mystery dungeon like it starts off <coughs> and it's like I don't want to be a Pokemon and at the end he says you know what I kind of want to be a Pokemon which he decides as he's turning back into a human <laughs> And everyone has a bit of a cry. 
I actually really like the Explorers of Time. God. I'm, I'm so talking about fucking. Gonna play detective. Uh, I'm talking about Blue Rescue Team. Bernie. Yeah. Um, I'll buy it if Davida voices, or if there is someone suitable I deem suitable to voice him, which is just like a ridiculous. I want a. I want a deep voice. Arnold Schwarzenegger. For Pikachu. Maybe a New York <laughs> accent. I want a New York accent on Pikachu. Davido and Norwegian. Like, I want Kelsey Grammer voicing him. <laughs> <laughs> or just, you just want Sideshow Bob as Pikachu. Is that just what you want? You just want the Sideshow Bob voice. No, I want, I want his Fraser voice, which is the same as the Sideshow Bob voice. Exactly. What about the boss voice? <laughs> When he played boss in the f- when he played the titular boss in the TV show Boss, <laughs> on I, I didn't know he had other voices besides his besides his normal one. Well, yeah, he he is his normal voice on Boss, Should where he be. plays the titular character of the boss. Should be. I'd watch a TV show about the boss. Get on that Konami. <laughs> <laughs> what is it going to be? Oh God. Based on that. Okay. You know, yeah, okay, if it comes out, you know, it's Konami... a good thing. What? You know, it's a good thing about Konami never making a proper MGS game again. What? Yeah. No one's ever going to make that stupid fucking World War Two boss game that Kojima proposed because that would be <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Wait, what? I hate that. Yeah, Kojima was like, you know, I've always wanted to make a game about the boss during World War Two. <laughs> that. Um. No. no that, that would be horrible. That was yeah. terrible. You have no idea what we're talking about, Kevin. Yeah, I do. I know. I know who the boss is. Like, but yeah. I yeah but do you, do know. you know what? Do you know what she was doing in World War Two? Yeah. I do not. She was pregnant. Oh, she, she got was pregnant. She she had birth on she, the. She, she had a C-section on the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> I love that. I love how the uh, the fox from Amic shows her doing to herself with a knife. And the and the fear is just watching like. Oh. Well, she, he's afraid. <laughs> and wouldn't it be the Sarah who was watching? Why would the oh, fear yeah, the be Sarah? Okay. Yeah, that was okay. weird. Like they said, like she was like a mother to the team, and then she fucked one of them. Okay, That's guys, a fair that, point. Uh, okay, Kon- Konami announces tomorrow that uh, they're making an MGS anime. Do you watch it? Yeah. I watched the fucking I, no, I'm Kevin, just, Kevin, because... Kevin. I watched I like the Persona the, Four I like Golden the... anime. Yeah, I watched the Persona Four Golden. I watched every episode of it. There was I'd watch an MGS. Oh, anime. you piece. There, there. I really, couldn't there was all of it. It was really, so bad. Well, there was such for guilt anime. in your voice when you said that. You were like, it's yeah. awful. Like, no, like nothing. I know. I mean, it's as horrendous. In, I mean, like you had such guilt in your voice when you like admitted it's that you watched an MGS uh, anime. It was, I found it funny. No, but like, I've sat through the P4G anime. Can it get much worse? Not really. Oh, exactly. Oh, but it can. I know it can, but I mean general. I mean, like, with things I care about and oh, not right. gen, general anime. Though, to be perfectly honest, I, I did hear about an anime that I'm vaguely interested in um, Ghost Stories, which apparently it ran in Japan. Ghost and Stories? It wasn't that successful. Ghost Stories. Do you know what I'm going to. The story Ghost. I'm going to tell here. Ghost so it, stories. yeah, around Japan, it was decently successful, uh, and then they just licensed it out to America, and Japan didn't give a shit, and they just fucking took that. Oh, and they took oh what yeah, they Ghost had, Stories. Oh and they yeah, just this made is amazing. Something completely fucking oh, different. It's amazing. Have you not seen <laughs> it? Have you not? I happened. Oh, to, I God, saw an I image of it, it, and I was like, "Okay, I might it's watch a... this." No, 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 no. <laughs> what is it? You... Send me okay. that image. Okay, Christian. Do not... Oh no, it was uh, the do image was. Um, it was. Uh, I, I come from a long line of uh, lesbian ghost killers. <laughs> <laughs> I come from a prestigious line of lesbian ghost killers. <laughs> Christian, do you know what? Something like that. Is? What? It's, ba- it's basically an official abridged series. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I'm vaguely interested in it. <laughs> Except it, it doesn't actually follow the plot of the original at all. Yeah. Because, like, I, 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 I do see the merit in DBZ abridged because it is actually much better than the real one because 
at some points it actually like it does the real plot. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Like, it it basically know. goes through the plot of Dragon Ball, but like funnier at some points it does better. it better than the actual show. Yeah, yeah like a like a they yeah, do. Just kill, kill yeah, like the, time. Like they like they do rundown. Like uh, the editor does rundowns of it, and like he sometimes <laughs> he actually has to go in and like clean shit up. Yeah, I. Uh, it's weird. Um, and we've had a fucking run-on podcast going about a half hour longer than we normally do. Yeah. So, we should gonna... probably end it now. Yeah. And... Thank you for um, watching. G- goodbye. Bye.